People like you, organizations like Rain Check, I love you guys. Ready now. You are clear for takeoff runway 21 left. Winds are calm. Stand by for the free trans on uniform. It's showtime. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Ramp Check pod- Aviation Podcast live stream thing. Hi. It's been I'm a couple you. weeks. Jesus. I know. I'm out of. Uh, What's that song from Mahalo Notes? I'm out of touch. You, anyway. I don't know. But that's Tony. Tony. <laughs> that's Tony right there. And I'm Aaron. Ryan. Oh, that's Aaron. And Aaron's over there. Way over this there. is Ryan. I'm Ryan. How are you? <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, uh, you guys like the new camera? I, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I, oh, he's popping a cold one. Actually, it's non alcoholic, but oh, I am sure. thirsty. <laughs> all right well good enjoy wow it's been a couple weeks a lot has happened um over the last few weeks holy shit i'm just going through my twitter feed and all my bookmarks and there's so much to talk about but a couple of things upstaged um all that stuff to talk about and uh if you read the description like you should like a good person um if you didn't that's okay i don't read them either um You'll know that uh, uh, me, Aaron, and Ryan were at Red Flag last week. Red Flag 24-2, uh, the first week of Red Flag. Aaron's not mean. You said me and Aaron and oh. Ryan. I'm sorry. Aaron, Ryan, and I. Oh, there you go. Is that Thank better? You. You're okay. welcome. Aaron, Ryan, and I. <laughs> my, my Aaron, Ryan, and me. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> there we go. Um, we, uh, we were at Red Flag 24-2. Uh, Nellis Air Force Base, Las Vegas. Had an epic week. It was a lot of fun. Uh, The weather wasn't the greatest the last couple of days, but we still made the best of it. (coughs) And um, I'd say Thursday was probably the worst day. Thursday, yeah, it probably was. Yeah, we kind of had a little of everything. It was like Tuesday was perfect. Wednesday was kind (laughs) of like in between, and Thursday was kind of windy. But yep. That was pretty good. There's always at least one cold and windy day at Red Flag. No thunderstorms, so and they flew every day, so it was perfect for us to go down. That was good. And then, um, and then also uh, this week, uh, the uh, United States Air Force crowned a brand new, or should I say, christened? I don't know. Well, not this week, but over the last few. I mean, yeah, that that happened, but it was basically media presented. There was a media event. We got invited. Well, local we'll Utah media. Yes. Local Utah media. They did announce down at uh, Tucson at the Heritage Flight uh, mm-hmm. event that they hold every year for certification and all that. That's right. when they officially announced. Yes. But, uh, right. But, but, anyway. Anyway. but anyway, yeah. She flew. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was a tough one. I, you know what? I think we need a. I think we need a palate cleansing video. Yes, please do. I'm still uploading a couple photos too as we speak. Started. So <laughs> this also happened recently. Check this out. Let's do it. The spinning circle. What the hell? My internet should be fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Internet. Tony's uh. Someone that's going to start trolling. Am I frozen? Yeah, really. I'm (laughs) sure he's going to. What in the hell is going on? I don't know. It played just fine a second ago. It It did? did? I watched it. Yep. Okay, hold on. Try it again. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Here, let me do this. Nope. The internet's just not, not connected right. I, very funny. No, it's, it's not connecting. Fine. I'm reloading this page, damn it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? We'll start Ready. it. Over. There it goes. Damn, look at the guy. Oh. That's what she said. I I just I I can't believe that thing. It, 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 the largest man-made object ever launched into space is that rocket right there. 
That thing stacked is almost 400 feet tall. That's nuts. Damn. Wow. And I think twice as much power as a Saturn V rocket that launched. Oh, I, don't, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Is that, um, is that what it is? What a number? what? This what number is this one? This is launch number three. This right? is number three. Oh, number, why three did I, why did I... number three of Starship. Yeah. I don't know why it's not nine like that. And I wanted to get a picture last night, too. There was a uh, another uh, SpaceX launch out of Vandenberg the other night. Oh, yeah. A lot and of people saw it along the I was coast driving and... home and I saw what was looked like a weird silver lining of a cloud, and that's what it was. I wish I would have uh, taken yeah. it. Yeah, you need to you need to keep up with those Vandenberg launches. I know exactly. Wow, look at that. But yeah, that's that's absolutely that incredible. So that rocket, um, it hot stages, which means that when the booster, <laughs> when the super heavy booster separates from the actual starship that goes up into orbit, yeah, um, the starship fires its six raptor engines uh -huh. and that's how it separates it doesn't separate and then fire it actually um it's the largest rocket successfully ever to hot stage actually Damn. it's pretty awesome um, i i Man. you know follow a little bit of this just Whoa. like you guys do Damn come it. on where am i yeah we're a little rusty oh we are. oh there we go there you go, there <laughs> yeah. you go. but um uh, yeah, and and Starship did make it to orbit this time. Uh, mm -hmm. They tried to land the super heavy booster uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, but it actually uh, broke apart and exploded. I don't know, really close to the ocean though, so they almost made it. Um, and then it Starship didn't... itself made it up past the Carmen line, so I mean it was up mm -hmm. in orbit. Didn't yep. do a whole orbit of the Earth. But uh, they were bringing it down. They wanted to bring it down uh, over the Indian Ocean, and uh, it it broke up and disintegrated. I mean, there's so much video on on YouTube and online that yeah, you can see. Indian. Oh, they didn't have anything to oh do. Oh my with gosh, it. what a failure! Sorry, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and I the, so the thing I was there people talking about <laughs> that. It's like, do you not realize what just happened? And you're gonna say that? How no. historic? Hey. Well, the the, the largest. Like the largest spacecraft ever made it up into space. Right. Yeah. That's amazing for humanity. Yeah, we right. live in 2024. Yeah. And out of all the freaking, you know, millennia, you know, that, that uh, man has been on Earth, it took us 2024. Well, longer than that if you count the caveman. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah. you know, you get the point. I mean, but yeah. it's crazy. I mean, j just over a hundred years from when the Wright brothers successfully yeah. flew. Well, here we are flying, you know, huge ass spacecraft up up into space. Yeah, and and you know maybe that's the first step in colonizing another planet. Yep. Sign me well, up. Please cool. continue this way. That's what he. Yeah. No shit. That's what Elon <laughs> yeah. Musk is saying. You know his yeah. his whole goal is to colonize Mars and and beyond. So yeah. Uh, I I would like to. Uh, it's almost you know like be cryogenically frozen and, <laughs> yeah, and, then, and come back yeah. in like a hundred years, see what's yeah, going on. Animated in hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. If, it, if it's, if it's as fucked up as it is now, that would be um, cool. you know, it's like, okay, just put me back under. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for yeah. a little bit longer. I know. Um, but you know, in serious seriousness though, like uh congratulations to Elon Musk and absolutely. SpaceX. Like all the, so bad everybody at SpaceX. You know, Elon Musk, he reminds me a lot about, um, you know, not to start a political conversation, but it re reminds me a lot about Trump. Everyone loved him and they think he was awesome. And then a few things happened, like he took <laughs> over Twitter <laughs> and, and defended free speech. And all of a sudden all the trolls come out and, and, and shit, but you know, some of them started hating on him, but yeah, you know, everyone wanted a Tesla before he bought Twitter. And then <laughs> afterwards it's all the Tesla owners were like, Oh shit. But anyway, um, love, love SpaceX. And, I mean, I, I'd love uh, sky's the limit. I love Elon himself. <laughs> he's, uh, I think he's awesome. Um, he Elon reminds me of a, he's like a, an autistic version of Tony Stark. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the 
man yeah. himself. Yeah. Musk rocks. I just, I, I just, yeah. he, you know, awesome. Nothing, nothing shakes him, dude. He's the richest man in the world. Mm-hmm. He's smart as hell, smarter than anybody in the room, no matter where he goes. Right. So it's like, I mean, wh- what else are you gonna do? Just do whatever right. the hell you want, I guess. Yep. I mean, I guess it's good that he's not some evil prick trying to harvest organs from, you know. You know, children in Africa or something. Yeah, I mean, he's, sure. he's or or a uh, Haiti. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Haiti. My God, that's a mess. <laughs> yes, but, it is. but yeah. anyway, yeah. all right. Well, what what else? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was cool. That that just happened uh, last Thursday. Yeah. Um, so uh, almost almost a week. Uh, they actually plan on launching, uh, I believe, six more of those this year. Six or seven more of those this year. Lord. Yeah, they're already starting yeah. for uh, flight four. They're already prepping for it. That's awesome. So what do you think? Uh, maybe we should do like a, like a poll or like a pool, like like they do for that March Madness basketball shit that's going on right now. Yawn. I, I don't even follow anymore. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so should we make a bet? Is it going to be launch five? Is it going to be launch six? Which one's it going to be where they actually successfully land the Starship back uh, where it's supposed to be and well, prove its reusability. What they're trying to do now is just, they're trying to land the super heavy booster in the ocean mm-hmm. to see if they can uh, just kind of like th- what they did with Falcon nine before they started landing that successfully on drone ships. And then on mm-hmm. shore, they right. landed a few out in the ocean to make sure that they had full control. And sure. I'm sure I'm sure that's going to happen in the next launch or two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, actual starship going up, orbiting, getting up to space, whatever landing successfully in the ocean. I would say they're going to have that on the next one. That's my guess. You think that's going to happen next time? Huh? Yeah, because the only re- I think the only reason that it happened this time is they had a failure in their attitude control up in, up in orbit. So well, fix your damn attitudes, people. Exactly. So I, I just think oh, whether no, no, no. it was like a frozen over, you know, thruster or, or something malfunction where they, they it just rolled basically. Right. And so when it entered the atmosphere, it was like it was like ass end and like rolling all over. It was crazy. And look at but the starship the, the the Starlink footage though, the signal, it was amazing. It was like shooting that signal off of that rocket all the way like up until mm-hmm. it just finally just the camera probably burned out. Yeah. Yeah, it's it was pretty awesome, pretty amazing. But I mean, you just look at how far of a leap they made from the last launch to this launch. Yeah. And it's just going to keep improving. Oh, By the yeah. way, I uh, see a lot of you watching right now, but not seeing any of the chats come through. Hopefully, yeah, go ahead and say hi. Um, um, so say on hi, Inst- let us know where you're watching tonight. Um, yeah. You can do that, of course, if you do it through YouTube or Facebook. Or I believe X is working now. Uh, you can even comment and uh, we'll be able to see it here. We can show it. Uh, during the live stream but usually we have a lot more chats by now and i'm just hoping that uh, we just we just need to get back to doing it every week again it's been tough because of our schedule but uh you know um you know we're just we kind of you know anyway but uh hey i just uh we are on instagram live again tonight so uh not only are we on youtube uh rumble x uh, Facebook, but also Instagram live. So for those watching, um, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, Jacob, uh, war. I said, hi, what's up? Hey, well, he actually says, what's up? So, oh, uh, uh, so but- yeah, so I'm, I'm checking the chats and they're not coming through here. So I'm, uh, I'm actually looking on my phone right here. Oh yeah. So, uh, PH world. Great start, Tony. That's why I know that this is real. <laughs> um, Florida afterburner images. What's up boys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, okay. BH world. Look at that hot patch. Uh, Wadman who had a better week. You guys Boeing or United <laughs> talk about that uh, coming up here in a minute. And um, BH world. Oh, an internet problem. Hold on. Let me be surprised. Yeah. See, we knew. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah, I, I, I don't know why the hell chat's not working tonight. That's pretty annoying. Elon is the real life Zephyrin, Zephyrin Cochran from Star Trek First Contact. Nice <laughs> hey, reference. Oh, yeah, that is a good reference. Hell yeah. Who so, said that? 
Who said that? I didn't know that? Florida afterburner images. <laughs> oh, awesome, yeah, man. great reference. I think. Uh, what, yeah, G- G- Gabe's. A, you could tell he's a big Star Trek nerd. Big, oh yes, definitely. Beeger. 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 I am Beeger. Is that Star Trek? Well, that's Star Trek, like the motion well, picture. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like the first yeah, okay. motion picture one where they found the Voyager spacecraft. Right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. And you know what? If if anyone's gonna achieve light speed or warp speed, it's gonna be Elon freaking Musk. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Yeah. It'll, great. It'll great here. reference. Uh. Avgeek Joe, what's up, Miss Mayo? Yet. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that too. Yeah, we will. Um. Also from Avgeek Joe. Uh. Oh, Elon should put the ramp check global on the Starship so it can <laughs> land. <laughs> yeah that might cost a little bit of money sure. but uh yeah that would be freaking awesome maybe one day hey we're gonna shoot for the sky there shoot no pun for intended this. keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching <laughs> there, the, um, so there, there i don't know if you guys know this but there is a youtuber that was actually chosen to go yeah, up so jealous on starship and or and and go around the moon on that dear moon mission oh, it's my that God. um um uh tim dodd who's the everyday astronaut on youtube yeah he's he's got a big following but uh yeah lucky for him that's, that's pretty cool. awesome what an opportunity that is pretty awesome a couple more comments here really quick i'm i'm chatting with the restream team to see if they can tell us what the hell's going on why the chat's not working um and then uh Avgeek joe of course we all know who can land the damn starship on the moon, Mars or Safe, Safe Skies Utah HQ in time for the next F-35 demo. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, let's see. Yeah, Elon Musk should buy NASA and Hill Air Force Base. <laughs> yeah, start nice. off from those starships from yeah. Hill. That would be and- <laughs> all the people from Safe Skies. If they were oh, man. doing those launches. Oh, oh yeah. God. They should start launching that from uh, Hill Air Force. Well, they'll, 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 yeah. they'll want to build a house, you know, down the road from the uh, Starship launch facility. And, and then complain. And complain. Yeah. Um, exactly. But uh, there's a couple here on Instagram Live that I just want to say. Uh, Jacob Remmel's on. Everybody knows Jacob. Jacob. Haven't, haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. But, uh, but oh, he man. says here for this, and he's on. Um. And uh, Fred uh, Valela is here again. Awesome. Uh, Kyle yeah. Ruby, the the helmet rapper, not like rap, like the music <laughs> genre. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, and uh, uh, Ron Morasco Jr. So nice. Let's see here. Welcome yeah. Up, so we, we've got a few on. Yeah. Fr- Fred says hi again. Uh, the airplane spotter. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see here. So we, you know, we've got quite a few on Instagram live as well. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. Did it work? Oh, well, we got a Florida afterburner images one come up. Oh, we did. Let's yep. See. We did oh, right here. Okay. So awesome. hopefully, hopefully they're starting to come through. Let's see here. I'll put, we were, ha- we were having an issue, uh, <laughs> now the now uh x so if you're watching on x which i don't know x we don't have a huge following yet so probably mm-hmm. not so as long as we can get those others okay here we go all right are they starting to come through yes they are so yeah. i wonder what the hell the problem was i don't know i guess i just had to uh talk to restream and tell them what was going on so let's well now see. the only one not working is x but okay oh well yep Anyway, cool. All right. Well, now we'll be able to put your comments on screen. Good. Anyway, problem solved. Man, well, we move into we we, uh... we we gotta we definitely need to be a little bit try to be more consistent on streaming because we are definitely rusty tonight. Oh, we're and, yeah, we're yeah, rusty. And, and you know, we just have a lot of shit to talk about. Like, there's always a lot going on. Yeah, too. I mean, yeah. And, there is. Yeah, but yeah, so we should probably jump into it. What do we want to talk about first? Besides, um, well, we just talked about uh, SpaceX and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Av Geek Joe, Unsafe Skies Utah was jamming. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, so, how about one more video? Uh, we can talk about this really quick. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. 
Sorry, I'm just telling the... Re the yeah, so anyway, I'll read a couple more uh, comments. Uh, so Jacob Remmel uh, says, are you interviewing Mock? So... Mm, funny you should ask. Well, we'll uh, we, we have a couple things that, that uh, we can show you tonight coming up. Um, Tony is uh, wants to play a video that's not queued up, but... Uh, well, you were <laughs> we can, doing something, so... We I can... Um, uh, we'll definitely get into that, but, uh, yeah, mock she's, I, I'll just give you a little preview. She's quite the character. She's going to be a lot of fun to cover for the next few years. <laughs> so I've got a question for you guys. Um, if you could buy, if you had the cash right now to buy your very own, uh, prop, you know, just, just a basic, uh, what am I trying to say? Basic private airplane. I don't have no clue in Private how. airplane. <laughs> Just a small oh. private. Yeah. Um, oh. Um, you, uh, what would you buy? A single well, engine? Just a small single engine. Tur turbine, private piston. Piston. Turbine, piston. Just, Either. I would say. Piston. We'll just I would say. I would say a Cirrus. A Cirrus? Like. Right. A Are you serious? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't worked the ramp in years, but uh, probably something like a turbo arrow or something like that. Okay, that, that'd be cool. A lot of power. Cool. Um, something carry. a little older, but, you know, gone yeah. through. Yeah, maybe something, nice. something like that, yeah. So yeah. I I was kind of on the fence as well, but then I saw this video clip, and uh, here, I'll just show it to you. Oh, yeah. See, that's a Cirrus. So I was thinking maybe, yeah, I might. Like, wild right now isn't it <laughs> yeah dude those that every day boy it's a lot saved softer a lot landing of though isn't it yeah they have saved a lot of people you know how many people that have died in small private aircraft crashes would still be alive today if they were in a cirrus yeah now yeah, no it's 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 true i mean does, you know. does cirrus have a version um where just the uh the 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 cabin like the passenger cabin separates and goes down no, with the parachute no, it's just the whole uh, airplane okay just no. a, it's just a chute Seriously. that's you, if you saw from the video it's just um behind the seating area and it just i don't know like there's a button or a lever or what that yeah it's, it's it's an actual like like lever if if mm -hmm. i if i can recall i i saw a little video on it one time and mm -hmm. you know i mean it the, the lever is you know it, it, you can't just accidentally like oh i'm gonna get out of the aircraft and yeah. pull myself up like you, you have to open a panel and you have to like grab it and you know and you got to really right. tug at it mm -hmm. um and it actually shoots a rocket out the back of the fuselage um and deploys the chute and I, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. But I think even their new Vision Jet has has that parachute system. Yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if it didn't. Just, I mean, I guess the speeds are probably a lot different. But um, you know, when you don't have any engines, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I, I would be surprised if they put it in their 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 props, but not not in their Cirrus jet. But mm -hmm. who, who knows? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we can fact check that while we're moving on to the next story. Yep. So, um, again, our top stories tonight, we're going to be talking about um, Mock and uh, her event, media event at Hill Air Force Base, <laughs> where the uh, F-35 demo team, of course, is uh, stationed. Yeah. Um, and, uh, of course, our little trip to Red Flag. I've got a couple video clips put together. I'm sure Aaron's got some great photos. In fact, I've seen some of them uploading. But one yep. more thing. So going back to um, Wadman's question, who had a better week, you guys, Boeing or United Airlines? Well, even you can add Alaska Airlines to that list, too. Um, but, man, what what a week for Boeing aircraft and and Boeing well, whistleblowers as well. So what what a week for the uh, media craze going after Boeing too, because well, a lot right. of what a lot of what they reported on happens on any type of aircraft all over the world every fucking day. Yeah. Well, so, and that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of this is is really targeted because they're like, "Ooh, Boeing, they the have the Max, has, they blah blah the media, blah." You know? the media has Boeing in their crosshairs, and yeah. Boeing's. I mean, now. 
Boeing is making themselves an easy target right now. Um, you know, and you look at all of the 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 wokeness and the DEI that's going on in these major corporations, and Boeing is one of them. Um, I'm talking this. I was talking to this chat uh, tech support guy, and he keeps texting me, and he just I know he, he just sent he wave. just sent the photo of the bear waving. Bye. Have a good hey, day. Hey, okay, see you. Bye. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, but, I. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's like you said, it's not just Boeing. In fact, I want to bring up a tweet from somebody. Um, and this guy's spot on. So I'm going to pull this up right now. We're going to read it. How's the size of the text right there? Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Okay. yeah. So this is from uh, at Miami underscore Rick on X slash Twitter. Doesn't just happen to Boeing jets, you know. Everyone is hypersensitive and primed to react to every Boeing-related mishap. It's very amusing to see your average non-player character self-designated for the day, quote-unquote, aviation expert weigh in on the potential reason for A or B, what they could have done differently, and the impact it could have on C or D. Let investigations run their course and keep in mind that no event, mishap, or even accident is ever the result of a single point of failure. And here, look, February 6th, well, uh, from Rio de Janeiro, DeMont de Sao Paulo uh, has been forced to divert to Sao All these tough words. Right? I know. So, uh, we get the point. Sao Paulo Airport, after the pilots reported a gear problem during descent. Oh, wait, this is an Airbus. Today, 319. Yeah. And man, I'll tell you what, all the headlines I saw on the, yeah, crickets. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I know it's like something happens to Boeing and it's like this big deal and then something happens to Airbus. And... Exactly. <laughs> well, well it's like the, the, the triple seven that, you know, oh, sorry. I didn't oh, mean to talk over you, brother. No, okay. um, I was I was just <laughs> saying like, you know, they're competitors, but it's like, you know, the media chooses a narrative and they go in on it and. You know, we all know from working at the airport, I mean, I worked on that that ramp right next to the, the runways at Salt Lake International, and there were incidents that happened all the time, but not everyone reported. Every aircraft type Dude. imaginable. Yeah. Every like manufacturer. Every, I know. It's like the, you know, that A319 lose, loses a will, and it's like you know, it only has six wills. And it's like a triple seven loses it. It's like <laughs> the end of the world, but it still has 13 to land on for Christ's yeah, sake. I know. So it's like, it, it's just ridiculous. I thought it was pretty cool that it demolished that employee's car and the employee. Oh car. my gosh. It demolished like three or four. I think that was insane. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. If you want to see video of it, look it up and see it. But, um, and I wanted to bring one last point before we move on. Um, so as you guys know, I worked as a flight dispatcher for SkyWest Airlines for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And every day there were incidents and, and, you know, we're talking to maintenance control. What's going on with this airplane? Oh, well, this airplane had to declare an emergency because of this or that or this or the airplane's grounded for maintenance because of this. So we saw this happen. If if. The idiot that this Miami Rick guy is talking about, the, um, let's see, the average non-player character self-designated for the day aviation expert knew the shit that went on behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. They would be terrified to fly. They would be because it's like all the stuff going on, you know, with, and, and you know, does SkyWest Airlines fly Boeing aircraft? No, nope, they don't. Uh, Bombardier, which is now Airbus, right? Did Airbus buy Bombardier? Well, they bought the C series. The, the C series, okay. But didn't somebody else buy the entire aircraft division and they're not doing it anymore? Uh they're uh Mitsubishi. Yeah, Mitsubishi, that's right. Yep. yep. And so SkyWest flew Embraer aircraft and Bombardier aircraft. Sorry, there's not a Boeing in there. And uh yeah, it's just the the mid pardon my French, but the media has a hard on for Boeing. And um, it is kind of curious that, you know, this Boeing whistleblower did end up with, a, you know, a gunshot to the head. And and uh, there's a lot of weird stuff weird. going on, man. Yeah, the other thing you have to look at, too, is 
there sure are a lot of industries and a lot of companies and a lot of industries and a lot of individuals currently in the United States being targeted. Right. And um, when I mean targeted, you know, try, you know, trying to be either put in jail, trying to be shut down. Yeah. Um, Silence. Government control. You, you just. Yeah. You know, at this day and age with with all the conspiracy theories that turned out to be not conspiracy theories, anything is possible. So do you think that humanity is launching rockets that are 400 feet tall and weigh like 5,000 tons or whatever that damn thing is? Anything's possible. <laughs> get get us off this damn planet. But I mean, do you think do you think that the media and everybody are they're going after Boeing right now because they're just not DEI enough? I don't know if that's oh, all. I, I I don't I don't think DEI yeah, is right. everything. I just think that oh, man, it's most. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. Well, look, it's happened to United, and, and and United was the one with the CEO crawling around and all that weird dominatrix shit. So that was yeah, you just, and he released just, the statement, so it has nothing to do with that. In my ritual. opinion, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. it's sabotaged, and, and, and but you know these are all just theories, but it yep. just coincidences you know there's no such thing as one apparently yep. <laughs> yeah uh, yeah but, yeah ev no. eventually eventually like can't be a coincidence yeah. yeah well you know what brothers i think it's time to start talking about all the really cool shit all the fun the shit yeah yes. i agree let's not talk you know? about the dumb shit yep exactly <laughs> there are plenty out there uh aaron do you want to start with uh your um mock or <laughs> your thrust experience that's a side story thrust <laughs> <laughs> so we were we were at red flag and we were talking about um uh mock because we had received uh a call from uh the pa people at hill air force base saying that an email uh, oh yeah. was it an email okay yep. anyway so we got an email saying that um the uh the f-35 demo team uh, and you know, their new pilot mock, we're going to have a media event in Utah so they could meet up and, and, you know, you could see her fly and anyway, so I could not remember her name for the, for my life. And so I, I, I <laughs> called her thrust. I'm retarded. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you were a bit off, but, uh, well, that's my new call sign. My new call sign is <laughs> thrust. Tony with like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Um, oh, man, but uh, but but yeah. So, um, well, what happened was is we were obviously um, <clears throat> we were down at Red Flag. We were bummed they were going to have the media event because we always, at least one of us, always tries to make it. Um, right, exactly. And and then it got uh, canceled because of weather. So. Right. We're like, oh, dang. And then it got rescheduled this week. And, you know, these things are always last minute, too, like the day before or whatever. So um, um, when I got the email on Monday that they were going to do it on Tuesday, the 19th, which, by the way, is the first day of spring, right? If I remember right. Yeah. Anyway, so, so hey, um, I was the only one that was able to do it, go up there uh, just because of scheduling. But, um I'm glad I did. It was uh, it was a great opportunity. It's always whenever the uh, Hill Air Force Base and the 388 Fighter Wing, um, you know, F-35 Demo Team Public Affairs puts on an event, they're always so great. Um, uh, everyone is is nice, accommodating. Um, everybody has a good time. I mean, it's like you know, we, we've all a lot of us have you know got to know each other uh over the right. years so yeah. we all know who we are and it's you know we show up for the for the ride on the base and it's mm -hmm. oh hey how you doing aaron or you know right. like uh ryan or whatever um so it's, it's a great time and and as, especially when you know they just introduced a new pilot and right. um uh, commander for the F-35 demo team, which is based at Hill Air Force Base. You know, you, you want to go to that event, at least the first one, for sure. And let me just interject here really quick. So all you other PA officers out there, um, especially Nellis, <clears throat> um, take note of how <laughs> Hill Air Force Base. Yeah, they, they uh, do a good job. PA well, office is. Yeah. They're, they're outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. 
So. Yeah, but, but and 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 that goes for the 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 civilians that work in those offices too. Mm-hmm. Um, the civilians and and those that are in the military. Hill right. Hill does a great job in 38th Fighter Wing, 419th Fighter Wing, uh, demo team, awesome. Couple, well, and, couple. Uh, oh, go ahead. It, no, I was just gonna say, and then we should say just maybe for uh, some of some of our watchers or listeners. Um, excuse me. Sorry. We haven't really mentioned like her full name and what she, and you know, like what we're actually talking about. So um, we should probably just mention that really quick. Yep. Absolutely. So Aaron, uh, since you attended the event, um, what, what's her full name? We know her call. Yeah. So, so, so um, okay. So I, I had, I had a, uh, a video queued up, but I think what I'll do instead is um, let's see. Give me one sec. Okay. So um, let me just pull this up real quick. Okay. So um, I always, I, I still have a hard, uh, a hard time with, uh, with their last name, but I just said uh, it's, fine. it's Captain uh, Melanie Mock uh, Klusner. And I hope I said the last name right okay. because I'm, I'm, uh, you know, why can't it just be Smith or Johnson or something like that? Because I'm not a. But anyway, cool I'm going to show a picture here. Uh, this is uh, th- this is uh, a mock here in front of the jet that she flew. It's a 421st um, jet, uh, nice. 50 1550 200, I believe it is. I'm sure BH World will correct me if I'm wrong. I know. But, sure um, yeah, has but, 22 on the tail. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But um so I'll just I'll run through a couple photos of of you know just some of the ground photos, some of the portraits that we did, but um you know, a lot of cool uh photo opportunities. Um the the the, the nice thing about uh Mock just just like Bayo um and and even Dojo if you go back to the very first F35 uh demo team pilot, all super nice. Um uh, great people, um, you know, lots of energy. Um, the, the nice thing about mock is she's, she's like a character right out of the gate. I mean, you, you could tell she's a handful, uh, a <laughs> lot of, a lot of fun to talk with lot, you know, I mean the That's others awesome. as well, I'm not putting the other pilots down from the past, but, mm-hmm. uh, you know, everybody brings their own brand yeah. and, uh, Absolutely. you know, mock, you, you know, you, you can tell there'll, there'll be some, uh, so, uh, you know, next <laughs> time on the picture, character. brother, put that picture back up again. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Next time, just a little bit lower. Yeah. Well, I'm not single asshole, so I'm not going to be doing that. And she's married for those of you that are, <laughs> that are wondering that, but anyway, so oh, here, nice. here, here's, yes, that's cool. Here's mock. Yeah. See, she she's a character. She's a lot of fun. She says <laughs> yeah. that that's her signature pose. That's awesome. <laughs> nice, love it. So she she's really cool. Um, and then of course I got the uh, got the selfie in front that's of the awesome. jet. Very cool. Really cool. Fun opportunity. Um, now you mentioned she's married, and she is her yep. husband is also an F thirty five pilot. Yeah, so I actually asked her about that. I'm gonna play some video, um, and uh, we'll we'll do that in a minute. Let, let me get this video going. I'll run a few videos, a couple more photos, and and then you'll see what we're talking about. It sounds good. The F-135 fired up. It's okay here. I'm at a wide angle too. Yeah, yeah this, this is all B-roll footage. None of this has been edited. This video is actually uh, straight from my iPhone. It's amazing but, uh, this is from your iPhone. Yeah, I know. I know the quality is great these days. But anyway, right now the APU is running. Um, you can hear other F-35s flying around. So loud. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, let's see here. The other video that I was going to play actually had the... Uh, had her starting up, but uh, I think what I'll do, just just because of time, let's uh, let's play another video that I got after she actually started flying. Um, if I mean, I'm pretty sure anybody here watching has seen the F-35 demo, and it, it's so much fun. But here's uh, here's oh, another clip. So this one's cool.
and she hits the burner and just heads towards the mountains. It That's was so crap. cool. That is so cool. Yeah, if you follow us on Instagram, I believe there's a clip of yeah this video right here, at least going <laughs> towards the mountain. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if there's a way we can provide the addresses of the Safe Skies Utah board of directors to uh, to the pilots at Hill Air Force Base. <laughs> the way they know, you know i don't know them. i i think the best way to deal with safe skies utah is just kind of ignore them just be honest with that. you a couple quick but, comments before we show the next video yeah go ahead them, of go course. ahead um so uh bh world gabe gets it hey brian we need to get mock to wear a spaghetti f35 patch for at least one show this year <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that, boys. It sounds like a good plan, but these three guys are holding out. Well, how are we holding out on you guys? Well, anyway. we, we've only made a shirt, and BH is the only one that has a copy of it. Yeah. We need to we need to get the patch out there, I guess. Uh, Afkeek Joe. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. That's just so weird. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um, Afkeek wow, Af Af Joe says, uh, okay, did Mont give you a sonic boom? Did you get a sonic boom? No, you don't break the sound barrier, at least yeah, on I purpose. <laughs> um, and then Avgeek Joe says, uh, um, F you, you're not the R word. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. I thrust. don't know what that means. Thrust is a good call sign. And I said, well, actually, it's thrust. And he goes, see, thrust is a rocking call sign. You heard Tony second that. That's what I was talking about, <laughs> um, the PA people. Uh, yeah. Joe, yeah, yeah, I remember Dojo. Well, we do the Dojo mm -hmm. drip. Yeah, yeah, um, we, we saw Dojo at Nellis 2019, the last yeah. year he wow. uh, and we, we got to interview him as well. Yeah, um, and then yeah. uh, Avgeek Joe, it's only warm, not hot. Like, well, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, well, he's all, yeah, kick, 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 kick. <laughs> yeah, trying to, trying to decipher that. Uh, Avgeek Joe, sure is IMAX quality. Uh, Wadman, man, I need to get a ride uh, along to one of the. <laughs> Sure. And um, oh boy, BH World. It's not an APU, it's the IPP. Oh, for God's sakes, it's an APU oh, if you ever work the ramp. Exactly. <laughs> Auxiliary power unit, not um infinite PP. No way, that's not what it stands for, is it? Is it just me or in my brain when BH comments? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> is it just me? No, just no, kidding. it's not just you. We love kidding, you, BH. BH. Um, yeah, thanks for the beer, by the way. We'll talk about that. Uh, and then uh, Avgeek Joe, damn it, you deserve a sonic boom. We all deserve a sonic yeah, boom. Yeah, but she probably wants to keep her job. Yeah, her job. Being new yeah. to the position. But yeah, exactly. that would be awesome. So she probably got her call sign somehow, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So Yeah, right. Uh, uh, what else you got, Aaron? You so got speak, speaking of mock, here's the uh, speed pad. My speed pad. Oh, yeah. I saw the moon cruise by on that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Because so, of the, uh, the pressure of the wing. Love it. Yeah, so th these videos of her actually flying during the, the demo practice, I just had my iPhone mounted on top of my camera. Not That's bad. why you can you can see my lens hood every once in a while and you know, just from moving. Um Yeah, but, that's uh, awesome. pretty damn cool. But yeah, let's see. I think I think I have another. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so now uh, the interview time. So uh, I'll, I'll I'll set this up. So what what they do on a on a media day for those of you that haven't been there is they typically. Um, it's really funny. I'll I'll post this photo here. So so this this is Mock here getting mic'd up for the interview session. So she literally starts to wear like ten different microphones from uh, <laughs> from all the different news or media organizations. Mm -hmm. I thought I I had uh, I must have put them away. But anyway, our our mic is like it's just a little Bluetooth one, so right. it wasn't a big deal at all. It was really easy. And uh, in the video where uh, she's being interviewed, you could see our little fuzzy mic right on her lapel there. So we're not, we're not the ones with the big battery pack and the wires and all that. So, but anyway, um, You're so welcome. then, and, and then what happens is, uh, all the media, you know, line up in front. I mean, you've probably seen it in TV shows or movies or, you know, if you've been to one of these events, um, and then, uh, ask away and you, and you just kind of, 
you know, when, when one person asks a question, you know, uh, mock would answer and then there'd be a little pause or, or somebody jump in right away. But anyway, I jumped in a few times. I don't know which order these ones are in, but uh, I'll let it play and then uh, we can talk about it after. Uh, you had mentioned uh, flying in a T-38 and I have to ask, is your call sign mock? What's it like breaking the salve in a T-38 versus an F-35? Uh, they both kind of felt similar, you know, it, it's it's seemingly kind of a non-event because the jet just gets really quiet when it happens. Um, but if you look at your ground speed, you're going really fast, so you know it's happening. But yeah, it just it gets kind of quiet. It would be different if I was down low because then all the windows would shatter. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm up high, it's pretty chill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, exactly. So, <laughs> awesome. so uh, there's the answer to, to breaking the sound barrier. And, you know, and or of course. I'm sure that all the local mainstream media, they're like, how do you like flying in an air show? <laughs> oh, it's, it's so funny. I mean, you, you do go to these things and there, I mean, the, the media that, that all the local, you know, major TV stations affiliates, you know, they sent out, it's like, it, you know, I, I mean, so it, what's it's your, the typical what's, aviation coverage, you know, like, What's your, you know, what's your what's opinion the, on the noise of the F-35? Yeah, what, yeah, if Channel 2 is there. <laughs> God, they're so annoying. Um, I don't think, cha maybe Channel 2 was there, but it wasn't one of the reporters for Safe Skies, you mm. know. Um, but anyway, uh, so here's another question that I asked um, during the interview segment. So I, I was just speaking to your husband earlier. Ago. Do you get a one up this gig on him all the time? <laughs> I mean, I have to say what he's doing is pretty cool too. Uh, being a combat fighter pilot is awesome. You're the cream of the crop. You're ready to go night one if something ever kicks off. So I think what we're doing is both cool, just in very different ways. And he supports me, I support him. So it's a good battle. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That was a yeah. very safe keep your marriage answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just I just thought it was funny because I actually was talking to her husband before mm -hmm. when she was getting mic'd up, and because I I remember him um, um, from um, social media posts that she was also married to a fighter pilot, um, and uh, F thirty five pilot couple man. That gives yeah, to yes, the, the word power couple. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a, you know. Fly the F-35. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, I fly the F-35. Oh, <laughs> damn. I'm so the, I, the I introduced, pilot. I introduced myself to him and I, you know, I looked at his patch and it had the same last name. So I was like, oh yeah, that is him. But he was super nice too. Super cool. Um, you can tell they both support each other hundred percent, you know, um, w which is great. Um, but I just had to, had to throw that question in for, you know, if she gets to one up that gig on him. But yeah. uh, really, <laughs> so far, good questions, brother, because yeah, she yeah, probably likes those kind of questions as opposed to what she probably gets everywhere yeah, she goes. Exactly. I mean, and she's probably if you ask her, <clears throat> she's probably fine with it because, you know, she just. Oh, yeah. That kind mm -hmm. of cool. Well, personality and, you know, exactly. And going to these events, the worst question, the cringe question that, I, that somebody always asks is. What's it like being a girl flying a jet? Yeah, oh yeah. You're that like, probably what does that pretty have old. to do with anything? I know, but she probably smiles and answers it. Just she does, crazy. and and just like Bayo did too. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it's, I would, it's like I would know, imagine hey, being a girl man, flying a jet matter. is probably a lot more comfortable than being a guy flying the jet because you know you can't get your eggs scrambled. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Probably a little more comfortable. Who knows? Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I'm not sure. That, I'm not, I'm not thinking. Mean. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, There's one for you, Aaron, because Aaron, Aaron attended the the event. Tony and I were unable, but uh, Avgeek Joe, did somebody ask how it's how it's like going after the air show hero, Major Bayo, or is that a cringe question? As much no. as it's like being a lady air show pilot. No, I no, think that's no. a lot different. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, it's, uh, you know, there was a few questions um, that was asked of, of Mock, you know, about, you know, past demo pilots and whatever. And, and you know, Mock brought up Dojo and Bayo during the interview process. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, of course, she has nothing but love for both of them and, and uh, gave Bayo all the credit in the world, taught her everything she knew about, you know, running the whole demo team and, and, uh, 
Uh, so they, they all have, you know, hundred percent respect for each other. And, and it's really cool to see that, you know, in that interview process. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, Ryan and Tony, you guys can even ask me questions about that day too. Um, you know, just like everybody else, since you guys weren't able to be there. Um, I was only able to get the two questions in for her during the interview process because mm-hmm. probably 10 or 12 of us that were just, you know, asking questions off and on. Now, this yeah. might be a dumb question, but uh, <laughs> being as the, oh, by the way, uh, Matt, the man, that's super <laughs> cool. They're both fighter pilots. Hell, yes, it is. Yeah, that is cool. Avgi Joe, cool. here, here. Awesome. <laughs> um, but since the uh, F-35 demo team is stationed at Hill Air Force Base, mm-hmm. um, I'm guessing that they will be performing at the air show in June. Yes. Okay. Yes, they they, they will. Uh, will that be her last... first official show? Or will she do more before that? Oh, she's already done one. She has. Okay. That I didn't Yuma, know she had right? already done one. So was yeah, so... her first one? Uh, I believe so, actually. Okay. All right. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, hey, Brett, what's up, man? We hey, what's just up, saw... Brett? Good to see you at Red Flag, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's always good to see Brett. God, that that dude, y- you need to get like 18 or something or 21, whatever. How old do you need to get to get uh, you like Sky Miles cards or Southwest Miles <laughs> cards? Because yeah. seriously, dude, everywhere we go, Brett's always showing up. It's like Jesus, dude. And gets around. <laughs> I think I even saw him in Savannah too. In Savannah. Savannah, <clears throat> dude. In Savannah. Out. All over the place. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but uh, anyway, I kind of lost my train of thought. What so I was. What are the, talking what are the about official then, dates but... for uh, the Hill Air Force Base Air Show? Last in June. Last weekend of June. Um, and I don't have a video queued up uh, for this, even though I did interview the air show director. Um, um, he was there. Uh, he was civi- he's civilian. Um, mm-hmm. Last name was Ireland. I don't re- I don't remember his first name. It was the first time that I have Northern. Been him. <laughs> what? Northern? No, no, it no, was. It's not Northern Ireland. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ryan, would you uh would you hit the price Ryan, is right? Ryan's admonishing me right one? now. I'm retarded. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Anyway, um oh go ahead. <laughs> but they were talking about the air show. Um mm-hmm. obviously uh F thirty five demo teams would be there. The uh the the Navy Super Hornet demo team is gonna be there again. Ooh, nice. Um the uh Torah 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 show, which is the you know, reenactment of the Pearl Harbor mm-hmm. yeah, attack, cool. which which yeah. is actually cool. There's tons of airplanes flying, going left, right. I mean, with pyro, pyro. and it's it's actually cool. cool. Wait, that's Japan. <laughs> that's sorry. We yeah yeah we've we uh I don't know if Ryan you were with me last time I saw Tora Tora Tora, but it was down at uh, Luke. Was that with you? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. As a matter of fact, I, I, no, I don't think you were there, Tony, mm-hmm. that time. That- well, no, he might have been. Was that when I got really sick? Yeah, was that the one when Ryan... and I drove you out early for the media thing mm, and forgot you, your you... Oh, was that was Tony there too? Yeah, that was before we went yes. and uh, did some work out in uh, Parker, I believe. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That was All right. So, so anyway, that was the last time we see that. So that's really cool. And then uh, I actually uh, uh, asked him a question during the interview too, if there were any. Um, special uh flybys planned any bombers or anything like that and Mm -hmm. he says well you know i'm glad you asked because as a matter of fact on saturday there's going to be a b2 spirit flyover oh wow that will be cool Um, wouldn't that be cool if they actually surprised us and it was a b21 raider flyover (laughs) yeah that's not happening for a long time (laughs) Yeah. So but, last uh, weekend in June, anyway. uh, typically the air shows run Friday, Saturday, Sunday, of course. So Saturday and Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, yeah. practice Excuse show Friday, practice, practice show Friday, the mm-hmm. 28th, Saturday is the 29th, Sunday is the 30th. So. There you go. 29th yep. and 30th. Yep. Yep. Uh, exactly. VH World. Uh, she did the Texas show. This upcoming weekend is Luke. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, BH. I take back uh, what I said earlier. Yes. 
Exactly. <laughs> uh, Brett says, great to see you guys. Yeah, I'm all over. Ha ha. Yes, you yeah. are. Dude. And um, I like this from Wadman. We need the F-35 combat demo back. Someone call fast. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they do out. need that. They do need that back. That would be really cool. It was funny, um, though, when we spoke with Fast about that afterwards, and he's like, yeah, if this was a real F-35 uh, tech demo, um, you'd just see explosions. You wouldn't see or hear the airplane. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The, I believe those that. things, yeah, they're they're designed with the, the sensors and, and the stealth for a reason. So you never was this the, uh, see it. Was this the one that Fast was talking about where – he got going a little fast and I mean, no pun intended, but like he on one of his flybys, he looked and he was like, like getting really close to uh, the speed of sound. <laughs> Probably. Like, I mean, it, it sounds, it sounds like the one, I think it's the only one we've ever talked about where he, you know, flew at an air show. So I think it's, I think it's that. <laughs> yeah, let's call that demo. Yeah, we get so. bail back with that, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe would like that. And Hey, speaking of fast, Hey, what? what's oh, no, up? No. Fast. Yes, how are you? Good to hear from <laughs> you, man. <laughs> Thanks can, for watching. Maybe he can uh, um, confirm what you were talking about when he said he looked down. He was like, oh, shit, I'm going. Really <laughs> yeah, well, well, maybe it was one of those or maybe not. I don't fast know. was a guest, of course, a couple of times yeah, on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah, we and, need to get him on the video. I've we've yeah. actually been talking with him off and on to try to schedule to have him on the video. Uh, podcast sometime yeah. soon hopefully so he says uh he says yes i was too busy waving at y'all i lost track of my speed <laughs> yeah <laughs> right be pretty easy in the f-35 i would imagine but uh, I, I lose track of my speed on the freeway when i'm going 80 miles an hour right exactly <laughs> uh Avgeek joe says hi fast so yeah that's awesome. cool Th thanks uh thanks uh for being here fast that's cool we always love uh, love chatting with you. And he also says, I'll sign any petition to get the F-35 combat demo back. Yes. Yeah. I, and, I agree. Oh, dude. And speaking yeah. of uh, uh, friends with Fast, we got to, out at Red Flag, uh, talk to one of his buddies, um, Napalm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, did. Napalm came out and said hi and had nothing but love for you, Fast. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, we chatted with him for five, ten minutes. Uh Great Good again, dude. great guy. Yeah, Good it was dude, awesome yeah. to meet him. And you know, these pilots come out to all of us av geeks and they're like celebrities out there. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, As yeah. a matter of fact, the uh the, the patch that I have on my mic tonight, um, I didn't I didn't get this from Napalm, but it is a 65th aggressor uh patch. It's got the uh the splinter F thirty five with the with the uh, dragon on it, you know, because oh, in yeah. China, the year of the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that was awesome though uh hearing hearing just some of his stories as well in the short amount of time we were able to visit with him but we definitely appreciated him coming out and taking some time and you know because it, it really is that way at at uh, red flag you know these pilots come out and the av geeks see the flight suit and you know it, it's like five people and then all of a sudden there's like six and there's seven or eight like 10 feet back and you know it's i know it's pretty awesome remember, now. We remember that time when you when you took off and you went straight up <laughs> that, yeah, was yeah, awesome. that was awesome but you know these guys man <laughs> i mean you fast napalm all, all of them these you guys that fly, i mean you are in our eyes you are celebrities because you know what you do and and we love it man and we we need to have uh fast back on and uh absolutely and talk with him some more because yep. I haven't spoken to him in a while, so I'm glad you're listening and yeah. watching tonight. Yeah, we should have Lauren join us, too. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. Uh, Lauren, for those of you that don't know, Lauren's his wife. Yes. Um, BH World, yes, we her, definitely need Fast to put in a good word to the Hill Boys this year. That four-ship demo years ago was the best. It was really cool. It was pretty awesome. Yep. I'm trying to find uh, one of the photos of, uh, let's see here that we got with napalm because he was cool. He posed for some, uh, some selfies with us and remember uh, the, 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 the six, five thing oh, that he yeah, was doing. Yeah. Yes. Explain, it's explain fun. to everybody what that is. Well, and I'm going to pull that up. I think he said that was like their symbol. Like, you know, you can't see us or, 
Or yeah, that's at right. Fifth, and he shared it with us, the little hand signal. Yeah, that was pretty um, awesome. And so we, we got a couple of photos of us all doing it. Pretty funny. But uh, uh, fast yeah. responding to BH World, I will. I'll send a couple messages out or a couple people a message tonight. Nice. Oh, yes. We'll see what kind of poll fast has. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Fast has uh, um, is it silver oak leaf clusters now, or is it the? What are you? Fast? Are you a major, lieutenant, colonel, general? Lieutenant. <laughs> general yeah, fast. I know. Oh, I know, right? General, yeah, that, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that would be cool. I I think it's lieutenant. Yes, I I do I do have it. Um, let's okay. see here. A lieutenant colonel, right? Yeah, Lieutenant Colonel. We'll At least that's out. the last, you know, since the last we chatted, it should be Lieutenant Colonel. Yep, Lieutenant um, Colonel. That's awesome. awesome. There you go. There you go. Well, he's going to run the Air Force one day, so, uh, yes, you know, is. it's going to be uh, uh, Force Guard right? General <laughs> fast. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so while we're talking air shows, oh, while you're pulling that up really quick, uh, any yeah. of you coming to Free Fair this year in Seattle, we got blues F thirty five A and F thirty five B. That that would be probably, pretty awesome. Probably won't make it, but we're not sure. We're but, gonna try and do the Pacific Air Show this year. Well, That's probably our travel. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Our, the our goal is, travel one. is for people to keep supporting us and for us to monetize and then just travel the country or the the world and attend aviation events and bring you guys content. Yep. So. But that's uh, our goal. Yeah, yeah we can't yeah, commit exactly. to the Seattle one, but you know, you never know. You have yep. to shoot us a Definitely. message on here and tell us when that is. Yes. So, okay. So let's see. Do Pacific instead of one of the other. Trust me. Yeah. Definitely. We're definitely yep. going to. Okay. So here's oh, Napalm. Yeah, there it is. Um, <laughs> nice. And then, okay. So I've got, I'm going to try to do this. Okay. So. Here's a photo, and I've got it on loop. <laughs> Here's us doing the, 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 the six six five or whatever. It's, it was so yeah, funny. Yeah, the six five. There it is. That's awesome. Yeah, he he was really a good dude, and um, yeah, there was a bunch of people kind of surrounding us while we were talking with him, and and uh, we were gonna record it and interview him, but just out of respect, the first time we met him, you know, we didn't want to bother him with that. But nice but, ramp uh, flag, guys. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Think- but mm-hmm. <laughs> hell to the yes good <laughs> but anyway cool um okay so uh let me just show a few photos uh just to finish out the mock segment um um again it, it, it was uh it was a thrill watching her fly um you know right. with the mountains in the background i mean just like wow. the photos that i got a fast when he was flying a hill uh when you get the those mountains in the background i mean it's just just killer um, yeah that's pretty man you know that with the, with the snow and then you know and then when she's low oh dude that was just sick um this was during the uh the combat you know the minimum radius turn or you know where she's just pulling g's and but um but that that's always a that's always a good sight as a matter of fact i should have showed this photo first that's when she was pulling into that maneuver to go you know in front of the snow like that right um, so let me just ask a question and maybe I need to ask a pilot this question, but you know how, when you have to, when you have to fart and you, you're walking down the stairs and it kind of forces it out. You think when you're pulling G's like that, what do you think the cockpit smells like afterwards? Jeez, that, dude. I, I don't know. I, I gotta admit my brain was nowhere near <laughs> that line of thinking right then, but yeah, I was thinking, wow, I love this jet. <laughs> yeah that's anyway. anyway uh hey fast thanks man yeah i oh, all the the shots that we got a fast when he was up a hill too i you know oh, sometime yeah. we need to come up to alaska um would love to get some jets but but that yeah man cool, um you know and then here's here's another here's another shot uh let's see i got a couple more um you know it's so uh, interesting how the f-35 looks so different from different angles yeah yeah i mean and and different different lighting too that that radar absorbent paint it it it, Mm -hmm. it just it it reflects differently in different light It, it it's really cool 
it's really cool um Badass. but uh let's see i i'm just gonna go back to my favorite one of the day that's my favorite shot by far um freaking awesome yeah and then and then at the end as she's land you know the yo what's up nice so yeah. anyway but uh but that was that, that was a lot of fun and then uh here they are opening up the stairs and all that which is, is kind of cool, cool. But, you know uh, if i could if i could do it over again in the air force i i think i'd be part of one of the demo teams yeah that <laughs> yeah that that, that would be fun try and travel with the thunderbirds or or something like that but uh um yeah there you go. air show in anchorage this summer and three reg flags Jeez, red Allison, flag. God, we need yeah. to start doing some red flags up there. Yeah. I know they have them up there. It's just, oh, God, we've never done it. Oh, we need to. Yeah. We, and we thought it was cold and windy at Nellis. <laughs> well, that's different because you expect it to be cold up there. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's during the summer, though. It's like, it's really nice. I, I've been to Alaska one time in the spring, and, you know, it wasn't up by Allison, but, but, uh, yeah, I know. We need to get up there. BH That's World, cool. I need to go eat dinner, but if you guys need funding for world travel, you know the ticket. A certain pasta themed <laughs> F35 shirt. Like <laughs> one night one dollar. One dollar. <laughs> <laughs> wow, BH, man. BH. Oh, I love it. Well, enjoy, enjoy your dinner. dinner. That is too Mr. Funny. Hardy. <laughs> But, your... uh, but anyway, so that that uh, concludes the mock segment. I just, you know, my last thoughts, um, you know, mock was, is is really cool. The F-35 demo team's in good hands. Uh, good. You know, that she's going to be a great commander. Um, you I know, guess, did, did anybody ask? It was a lot of fun. Um, did anybody ask uh, any new maneuvers for the demo team this year? Um. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of came up in in, in conversation, uh, but I'm not, I, you know, it, it was kind of vague in in the way it was answered, if if I can recall right, because that was actually going to be a question that that I was going to throw in there. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I was. I, <laughs> it's kind of funny because you know, Bayo continued on that dojo drift they called the tactical pitch, right? Um, and uh, I was, it, it's kind of funny because when you think about it, you're like, so, you know, I mean, Dojo threw this maneuver and you're like, well, you know, Dojo actually came up with the whole first demo. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as far as comparing, you know, it's just kind right. of funny, but. Hey, I got it. I got one. What's hey. that? The mock loop. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, that's already taken. Probably. No, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, you oh. throw a different spin on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> the mock throws, maneuver. <laughs> the mock maneuver. But anyway, uh, mock mock does say that that that's her signature pose right there. So we'll oh, have to, we'll, to we'll have we'll have to name that something. Yeah. You know, so I'm looking forward this. to a selfie <laughs> yeah. with her while she's doing that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, we'll definitely would. have to uh, get that and put it out there. Nice. So, uh, well, congratulations, Mock. Um, welcome to the F-35 demo team. Like, I, I'm part of it, which I'm not. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you do your thing uh, that last weekend in June at Hill Air Force Base. And like BH World mentioned, um, Luke Air Force Base this weekend, if you want to see her as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Joe chimes in and says, uh, congrats, Mock. Absolutely. Cool. Well, we should uh, probably move on to some of our red flag content since we're already an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah. In. You want to start? Yeah, with and, 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 and yeah, before we do that, I just want to say one thing. Um, the uh, A10 dem demo team announced that this is their last season oh ever. Oh, my God. They announced it today. And uh, so. If you have an opportunity to see the A10 demo team, you know we we've seen them a few times. Um, are they going to be at Hill? They are not. Okay. So they will be at Luke yeah. though next week. So there okay. you go. Go to Luke. Yeah. For net or is it this weekend or next week? I think, uh, I think BH World said this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I know BH is going. Go so. Let's see. But anyway, um, yeah, it's sad, but I mean, you know, uh. Air Force has got to got to find dollars to replace old 
tired airframe somehow and uh you gotta yeah. well you gotta start winding down certain aircraft it's sad but if you get out is one of see them it. yeah yeah um so. okay so i i just i want to mention this too um uh jillian phillips art actually just joined the live stream on instagram and uh um today on our story I actually posted a, a piece of art that she actually painted with one of our photos, one of the F 15 C photos that I shot and sent to her. Oh yeah. Um, so, um, go, uh, go, go check out, uh, her Instagram. It, it you can find it through our story on Instagram, but, uh, it's, it's, uh, Jillian Phillips art. It, she's got a lot of unique stuff. You guys I should go that, check out her I stuff. At it. Yeah. That's really cool. It's really cool. But anyway, so just want to say hi, Jillian. I assume that's your first name. <laughs> awesome. But uh, anyway, we're still watching. Okay, on to Red Flag. Okay, very cool. On to Red Flag. By the way, uh, Avgeek Joe would rather see the uh, F-16 wind down than the A-10 any day. You know? Oh, Just no find the way. money to keep them both for crying out loud. You know, who knows if we get a certain uh, president back in office, maybe that will change. You never know. You never oh, know. The, the, the Viper would just be, it would be as sad. I mean, geez. Yeah. Viper won't be going away anytime soon. Yeah, it won't. It definitely won't. Uh, also, the uh, Pacific Air Show will have the... There April. you go. So, so that'd be go. our last time to see it, probably. Absolutely. Yep, that would be it. So we really need to make... Uh, Make a plan to go out there. So I saw you op uploaded a lot of uh, photos. You want to go through the photos first? You want to do some video first and then photos? What do you think? Uh, I see that you have a video. Um, is 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 that length of that video that long? Well, so it was supposed to be a lot shorter, but the edited version got jacked up. So we'll just kind of scrub through it. We don't need to watch okay. the whole thing. Just, just some highlights. So if you guys want to do that first, we can definitely do yeah, that. Yeah, let's do that. And then, and then we'll go through a few photos that I have uploaded. Okay. Sounds good. So as you guys know, the uh, red flag 24-2 going on at Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. Um, we were down there for week number one. Week number two is going on right now. And uh, these are just a few of my favorite clips. Um, and I didn't have a chance to to departing i didn't have a chance to edit most of it down and so uh but i wanted to get some of this up here for you guys to see so what a yeah, neat yeah. angle having the vegas skyline in the background yeah, yeah it's yeah. one of the cool things about nellis and some of the shots love black smoke and, and airline see in the that background for miles too when when it takes off you can just see that well well and even when it's coming in the land it'll show you some uh, Video of that too, so kind of goes around a little bit. I love the sound, and it was windy that day. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there, that, uh, wind, and the earth and that wind ran up and just lifted right up. Can uh, can everybody hear the microphones okay when the video's playing? Uh, let us know in the chat. Yeah, just the, the volume's kind of turned down a little bit on this. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, uh, fast. As a matter of fact, he did say, "Long live the Viper." I just have to throw that in there because fast has lots of combat time in the Viper. Yeah. All right, check this <laughs> out. Okay, I'm gonna back this up just a little bit so we can see it again. There we go. It's a great vantage spot. Uh, up above, if you want to, if you want to see the bottom of the airplane, catch him coming up, uh, off the runway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Big cool shots. F thirty five flex action aggressor. Right. Okay. As yeah, you, th as this you was say, cool. See the buff coming in yeah. from miles away. That's cool. Yeah, th this this is actually really cool. You, you might have to fast forward it a while because the uh, the buff has like a twenty minute approach short final. Yeah, it yeah. does. <laughs> we'll, we'll bump it up a little bit. So this is really cool where he starts turning towards me, and then you yeah. can start seeing the landing lights. Yeah, yeah, and then his gear comes down, and look at that. I mean, that's just ominous looking. Yeah, if you were a bad guy and saw that coming. Well, you wouldn't because it'd be a Good lot old higher. Buffs. No. So um there it is. Um 
some people might recall that we interviewed uh we had a cammy cammy bammy um, cammy bammy uh call sign lit uh she's a buff pilot now um and this is actually she actually came to town with this unit to participate in red flag 24-2 at nellis uh but she got assigned something that week that we were there so she was actually out of town she is gonna fly this week sometime um um which is cool and uh we missed her though it was it was yeah, too bad did. because you know we'd all been communicating back and forth yeah, hey, yeah what like red flag and her. yeah mm -hmm. and then finally you know it's like yeah we'll be down there for this this day this you know oh dang i'll be out of town those days <laughs> we're like damn it <laughs> but yeah. um but anyway of still arriving um let's see here we'll fast forward again maybe. Yeah, dude, they just fly right over you, and uh, yeah, you get a great cool. view of the landing too. Even though we're a little bit farther away up there, mm -hmm. this is uh, this is where I'm thinking that I'd like to maybe try in a live stream or something. Do like you know? a live stream or something. Yeah, it'd be really cool. Let's see. <clears throat> Gonna miss yeah, out. Yeah, you can oh. just see. So a lot of people don't know the B-52 doesn't have ailerons. Mm -hmm. uh, it can it controls it. It, it, it's roll with uh with spoilers you can um, see the spoilers so you can down, see yeah. them going up and down as uh, you know um on the approach spoiler um, i can see our hotel room from here spoiler on yeah yeah there's the cosmo yeah okay check out this landing of course you know a van goes right there <laughs> i know if ground effect and boom. and boom deploy the shoot yeah, and the B-52 is one of the Last, aircraft that yeah. still uses a chute pretty much every time. Anyway. Yeah, cool video. That was pretty sweet, yep. Um, Great video. A lot of, uh, yep, I, I wish I could have. The edited version had a lot more, uh, had a few more different aircraft in it, but uh, I do have one more video that we'll show at the end, um, and it actually falls within our fuck around and find out segment. <laughs> okay. well, well i'll let you know how it ties in so okay all right well i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna play probably one of the most badass videos that we caught right, now red flag. oh yeah and i'm gonna leave the volume up on this so here we go <laughs> oh, yes. yeah sorry and that's how you flex that's yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna play it one more time. Yeah, <laughs> All right, I'll turn it down. Oh. So anyway, oh, we missed the <laughs> we missed the very end again. Okay, gotta Tony play the very end, brother. Last time, but what well, very what very end are you talking quiet. about? Listen to the whole clip. Go so play it one more time. It's not that. edited out. Oh, it's not. Oh, I thought you said it wasn't. Oh, okay. Just, that just here. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, that that guy was on point with his flex. That was probably the best one of the week. When yeah, he was there. yeah. So yeah. for those of you that are gonna, that are going to be participating in the next red flag, or if you're there right now, the uh, Dutch, uh, take note of that flex. That is how you flex. Yeah. yeah. Well, that that was that was the four twenty second uh tests and evaluation squad and i'm th those guys and gals know know how to flex i mean yeah. they're they are they do pretty unique but um so speaking of the uh, warthog the a10 um this wasn't part of red flag this is part of uh, uh this is probably the 16th weapons this is probably the weapon school or mm -hmm. the um but anyway the, the uh we got the most beautiful a10 flexes on the first night we were there and these jets were golden. The it was unbelievable. Watch this. That's unedited. There's no Yeah, color. yeah, that's unedited. Okay, and then that's the shot from that night. Damn. Look at that. I mean, they were just glowing. The sun was at the right angle. The jets took off at the right time. Um, 
all honesty, these are probably the best A10 shots I've ever captured. Um, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Love these. Awesome. I mean, just the that. only thing that would have made that picture better was to see some smoke coming out of that forward cannon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah. Not. Wasn't expecting I that on the launch, though, though but you know, <laughs> just saying. I know. I know. Oh, I know. You're not wrong. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see here. Okay, so let, let's do a couple more photos. So again, uh, this is the this should be the the green bats, dude. That is such a clear <laughs> wow. photo, man. Yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah. Thank, thanks, Matt. That was fun. I mean, the the cool thing about Red Flag is um, Tony and Ryan usually do a lot of the filming, and then I'll do you know the stills. Um, and so it's it's a combined effort for all this content. It's a lot of fun to capture it. Um, but anyway, and then, Aaron does, um, yeah, Aaron does, uh, he stays up all night and does editing while uh, I do and Ryan and Tony yeah. go drink and gamble <laughs> while I'm up editing. And we did okay this time. Didn't we? Yeah. We did all right. Yeah, we did all right. Did okay. <laughs> um, uh, dude, that the, is a cool shot. This flex, this was on the first day we got there. If you remember, it happened yeah. pretty soon after we got Forget there. That afterburner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's bad. This bad. was the video that you missed actually because you weren't really prepared because we just got there and you're like, Yeah, holy shit, I missed that. Well, I tried to film it, but it, I lost yeah. it. <laughs> like yeah. he was going so fast that my brain wasn't in like film and yeah. follow mode yet. Yeah. But, yeah, but oh, there you go. Yeah, and then you got Dude. the Raptors, the 422nd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Raptor. <laughs> Badass. Um, okay. And then we got a Dutch F 35 here. Cool. So, um, there's his soft flex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually it was, it was like a high and like, it was a good flex, but it wasn't aggressive. Yeah. I guess mm -hmm. soft flex is, is what you can call, but, um, well, it's not an aggressor. So the, the, the thing that's funny is, and we might as well say this too. So here's a shot of us with, uh, Frank Krabus and yeah. a lot of if, if fast is so watching. Um, Frank told us he was going to Alaska a couple of years ago, or maybe it was last year. I don't remember exactly, but we're like, oh, well, fast is up at Alaska. So, and, um, Frank, uh, sent me a photo with a selfie with fast. Um, and no I showed way. you and Ryan, you and Ryan, um, Tony, um, I showed both of you guys that photo, but, but anyway, Frank, you know, he's, he's well known for his aviation photography, especially his air to air. He goes up with a lot of, uh, you know, fighters. He's been up in F-15s, F-16s. I mean, yeah, a lot Frank, of different uh, jets. But yeah. Frank was great. He took time out of his busy schedule. He was there covering the Dutch in town, and and uh, came out and hung out with us for a little bit. But uh, that's Frank there. We did an um, Instagram live, and he stopped by after one of his flights. He he did. He yeah. did. Yeah, that yeah. was. So that thanks, was thanks, yep. Frank, if you're listening. And Frank yeah. got to go yeah. up in the uh, the Dutch A330. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There, there it is, is yep. right and there. He, he came by after. Well, he came mm -hmm. by the day before. and Yeah, the, the, mm -hmm. the photo was the day before, and then he came by at the yep. next day. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And uh, by the way, not sure whose fault it was, but while he was uh, in the jump seat, um, they had to do a go around. So I'm not sure if. Uh, you oh, know, he just said yeah. that they were, they just, <laughs> the approach was a little high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little I, high. I know. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, here's another Dutch F-35. Um, cool. Short final. It's definitely an um, A model. Look at those toothpicks. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then here's uh, one of the buff shots when it was flying over landing. This is, We're down on Cheyenne now um, wow. instead of by the speedway. And for right. those of you that go to Red Flag, you'll know what we mean. <laughs> yep. Um Let's see here. Okay, so let's go with Yeah, thank you, Matt. Um okay, let's go with uh let's see. Here's another cool shot. Um Oh, dude. Yeah, the F35. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, cuz I I haven't posted a bunch of these yet. Um but oh, uh shit. yeah, on approach and you've got the uh Navy growlers overhead. Um, let's see. Okay, so let, let's show. So, the 926 wing. Uh, this is a 706 aggressors. They got that Florida Lee paint with the splinter cam. Oh, cool. 
awesome looking jet. That was one of the jets I was hoping we'd catch, and we got it on the first day. So I yeah, was that happy. One's cool. It's always so cool to see different paint. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, mm -hmm. they're all cool, but it's cool to see different. Oh, and there's the yeah, yeah, the Swiss Yep, yep. Sixty like, thrusters, uh, and th that's what's on this patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's on that patch. It looks like he's in hover mode. It kind of, <laughs> I know. Oh, you're missing. I know. It. Yes, it kind of does. <laughs> right. Wrong, yeah, uh, wrong, wrong yeah. variant. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a way to um, paint scheme. Though. Let's see. And here's another shot. So, a uh, top oh, ace. The, yep. these, these are the uh, retired uh, F-16s from the Israeli Air Force. Mm -hmm. um, and the company Top Ace has purchased a bunch of them. Um, many of these jets actually have uh, combat. Um, um, oh yeah, if they mean, came from the Israeli Air Force. Israeli, but but there's even I think there's even a couple of them that they have that even flew that mission where they they destroyed that nuclear um, reactor that was being built <laughs> just outside of Baghdad. Oh, really? yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Israel's like, fuck that. We're not going to allow that to happen. <laughs> Even though the, the rest of the world was like, no, don't go attack them. Because it was the French that was building it for them. And uh, Israel's like, yeah, right. we're not going to have a nuclear reactor right next door. So I don't know, Lloyd. The French are assholes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and then, of course, right. Ghost. Oh, there. yeah, that's yeah. a cool I Yeah, see, the different paint is just so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be a red flag without photos of the 64th aggressors. That's right. Um, anyway, I got a few more here that I'll show. Um, so this is uh, the tiger tail um, of the, the 313th. And as a matter of fact, Frank actually gave us some uh, some patches. And here here's a patch, that squadron for that jet. Take the picture. Pretty down. sick. Yeah. Oh, right, you got that's right. Yeah. That's a cool shot though with that tail. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Next time just take the picture down yourself because oh, I couldn't see. I'm sitting back <laughs> relaxing while you're doing show. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what sure. to do. No, I I hey, I'll tell you. I'm still I might not be the oldest brother, but anyway. No. But that's that's the uh the three thir thirteen squadron. Love it. Dutch. Um but uh yeah. let's see here. And then here here's one more shot we'll do. We'll end it with the Viper. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So th this is uh sick, sick flex. Got the beacon on that one. That's always hard to get anybody that shoots F 16s Vipers. Uh, you know, it's pretty rare to get that, uh, that white beacon on the tail in the shot. Yeah. That's awesome. that one just turned out as yeah. usual. Great photos, brother. Yes. Well, thank you. It was a good time. We all, we all got a lot of good video, a lot of, a lot of good photos. So anyway. Had a lot of fun. Talked to a lot of people. Um, Absolutely. Hung out with a lot of people. Love seeing y'all. It was a great time. Yep. Oh, and then I've, I've got to show our, our view of our room. Yep. I've got to show that. Yeah. Nice view. Yep. That's pretty much the view of our room. Uh, every red flag. Yep. Nice. Yep. So where are you guys staying? Oh, I'm just down at the Motel 6 on... Uh, no, no, we're at the fucking Cosmo. That's right. <laughs> yes. Well, you do spend a little money there. Well, I guess well, I do too. But. Yeah, I guess we do. But hey, <laughs> you know, if they're still giving out free rooms... Well, I guess technically they're not free. But um, it's <laughs> yeah, sure those, aren't, those aren't free. It's just With they're great paid power in a different great way. Responsibility, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, this okay. last trip, it was definitely right. free. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there I we thought. are with PH. Yep. <laughs> The old post red flag beard. Enjoying a cold one. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Thanks again, BH World. That was very nice of you. That was awesome. <laughs> Enjoyed that beer. It was really cold. All right. So um any more pictures, Aaron, to show? Uh no, no. That that's good. Hey. We we can uh, you know, and we're running an hour and thirty, so that's yep. probably I shouldn't anyway. We'll be we'll <laughs> be pretty we'll be really quick, but um uh so one more video from uh, Red Flag from Nellis Air Force Base. Um, this falls in our fuck around and find out segment. Just watch the video clip and uh, maybe you'll be able to find it. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. So this is from Cheyenne. That's all I have to say about that. So this is the uh, Dutch A330. Frank's on board. This is after... He's coming in to land after his go around. 
Um, we got his gear coming down. Okay. But, yeah. The gear. So, the gear. The gear. Okay. <laughs> That's our commentary. I just. I turned the volume down a little bit so we could hear the microphones because I really think it, it Well, I, I have, we have to turn out. this one up a little bit, so. Okay, all right. Oh. <laughs> it scared the shit out of you. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of those truck drivers are real pricks, man, that drive yeah. through there. So yeah, so that's what happens when you're shooting on Cheyenne. You got to be, you got to make sure you're out of the road. Look out for the uh, crack whores. Um, look <laughs> out for the yeah. watch it was out rough. for needles. It, yeah. was some, it was rough, man. You 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 really uh, stay close by and watch everybody's sixes. We'll Everybody, put it that way. Yep, yep. Keep your head on the swivel. So that's the moral of the story of uh, when you're at Red Flag and uh, you're down at Cheyenne. Because if you fuck around, you're going to find out. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. All That's right. right. Yeah. I, right. I, I I remember shooting that, and that guy comes by and honks. Oh, right. Well, it, it's, it scared me, too. It yeah. scared me, too. A little bit. With it's the like we're all, we're all trying to film and take pictures. Yeah. Just stupid. Anyway. But, yeah. No. <laughs> what the prick that's right all right so uh lat do we have time for our last segment instagram stories from accounts we follow uh, we I, 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 that to I, next week or i guess we we can maybe just hit a few let's oh, hit it okay all right here we go let's hit it just a few all right really quick instagram stories from accounts we follow All right, are we ready? Go for it, brother. Oh, look at this. It's Mock. Oh, she reposted one of my shots. Hell nice. yeah. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Let, let's let's go back a little bit and let's okay. So here oh, and there's another one. Nice. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But uh but anyway, and then here's some news footage from Fox 13. Um and uh, the lacrosse team, the Air Force lacrosse team, was actually there, and they came out for that media day as well during the during the demo. But uh, but anyway, oh look at that! Her dog has the demo team patch on on the, on the uh, <laughs> oh, nice. whatever you call that. I don't have a dog, so <laughs> yeah, he likes snow for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's yeah. great. Awesome mock. Okay, so ORD spot. Okay, so this is Brett. With uh, some F-35 action. Nice. Wisconsin, 115th Fighter Wing. Very cool. cool. Um, oh, okay. So th this is uh, Audrey. She was actually at Media Day, too, with uh, with Viper Girl. She's she's from the uh, West Co or East Coast. Cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, they were down at Nellis today. But uh, that's her showing some of the, uh, the Media Day with her covering that. Very cool. But uh, the Flying Texan... Peter built 10 years at the big, what did he say? At the big, <laughs> big oh, so, Rev Red Oval. oh my gosh, the flying Texan has an FJB oh, wow. on, awesome. on uh, Air Force <laughs> One coming over. Perfect. Uh, oh, look, Colin is in New York. Wow. Very cool. Getting out, doing a little travel. Hopefully, he visits the Intrepid Museum. Yeah, that'd be cool. They just got right. the Concord back. Oh, good. good. Yep. Did some restoration work. Yep. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, I saw this. This is that's coming out. Uh, a little yeah. film on the Blue Angels. I'll, yeah, I'll, that that'll be cool. Ooh, I see. Yeah. Writer Joe is the one that reposted that May one. That'll 23rd. be cool. Operation Iraqi Freedom begins. Wow, March twentieth, oh three. Twenty one years. Twenty one years. Damn. Damn. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that looks that's gotta great. be. That's gotta idiot. be yeah. Jacobs. Yep. Yeah cool someone else okay. a10 demo beautiful day for red flag uh saturday is last day nellis air force yeah well yeah friday is the last red yeah. flag day but they're probably out probably there not much going saturday. on on saturday yeah yeah see that it's that's jacobs. yeah that's yep. jacobs yep there it is yeah i love that shot oh that's sick man look at that oh, oh damn shit all right 
yeah, Jacob, is that your footage? Let us know. I I it's like the gotta be that. his footage. Yeah, but um, but anyway, yeah. Oh wow. Oh no, they're actually filming with the IMAX cameras. Dude. Jeez, oh, man. that is so sick. Fast. Look at that. <laughs> Even fast and slow motion. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, the camera guy. That's funny. Let's okay. see here. And this is Sam. Um, she actually just posted about some ramp swag she got, but it's not on there today. Cool. Uh, sick flex. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. There's some 65th aggressor swag right there. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. That's a nice burner launch at night. That is nice. Down at Nellis. Jetterati, for someone who loves to sleep, you'd think I'd, what did it say? I saw him. You think yeah. I'd go to sleep? Go to sleep. You saw him out at Red Flag. Yep. We did. You know, and I, I I thought I uploaded that photo, but I, I don't. I, I've got so many damn photos over the last two yeah, weeks. Maybe we can do a little, uh, we'll, we'll, oh. we'll pull it up sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure we'll have more to talk about next week. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So let's just do a couple more right. and then, uh, and then we'll call it good. Uh, red thunder air shows. Those guys are here locally. Nice. Um, and then Casey underscore aviation. So that's Dave. We, we talked to Dave, hung out with him a little bit at red flag. Good dude. Yep. Um, cool repost. Oh, wow. I actually saw one of these VX 30 jets at Miramar years ago. Damn. Oh yeah. See, look, he was out at red flag during that night too. Yep. Yes, Must've been. Was. Yep. Got There's some, nice. got some of that orange glow anyway. All oh. right. Let's call it brothers. That is the end. Of <laughs> roll the segment Instagram stories from accounts we follow. <clears throat> oh, good podcast, brothers. Ran a little long. Sorry, we had a lot to uh, show and talk about this evening. But um, don't forget the Ramp Check Aviation podcast live stream usually every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, our schedules are a little bit better for the next few weeks, so uh, we'll definitely be be here every Wednesday. We appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we appreciate you commenting. And um, and don't forget, uh, well, you saw a bunch of new ramp swag um, that we were wearing yep. out at Red Flag. Mm -hmm. A lot and if of you cool would like stuff on there. If you would like some of your own ramp swag, we've got um, the the new red flag redesign stuff. We've got hats. We've got the uh, my favorite now are the long sleeve uh, t shirts. Mm -hmm. T shirt with mm -hmm. hoods. Yep. love yep. those. They're awesome. That's what Tony yeah, is wearing right I'll now. Show those. Speaking of that, there's a red flag version of that. Oh, nice. Might just have to get one of those too. I know. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty sick. Yeah, those are nice. Yep, love them. Anyway, and and a lot of our designs we have the front and back print designs. So for those of you that like things printed on the front, or we've also had requests of people with print on the back. There you go. So anyway, a lot of the new remove before flight stuff. I'm gonna have to um, get me that Ram Check hat with it looks like the Top Gun logo. I that's yeah, the first time I've seen yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's a new cool. one. Yeah, that's a cool one. But uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, and we got a bunch of new shoes too. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, men and women too, men and women sizes. So nice. Check those out. Aggressors, some camo, some different, different stuff. Try to be a little bit different, unique. Got but a um, these are new too. These are new uh, premium hoodies that are embroidered which are sick. Oh yeah. But, um, but anyway, all right, enough of that. <laughs> so, hear the sounds like the kids are ready. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a little late. Um, Better I need to go. Time. I need to go put Lula to bed. <laughs> so, uh, www.rampcheckglobal.com. That's your landing page for all things ramp check. And, uh, you can get to the merch store, get yourself some, some ramp swag. Damn it. 
and uh, post we a picture. We appreciate the support. Yeah. yeah, we definitely Absolutely. appreciate that support. All right, so uh, we'll see you guys next week, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, right here, wherever you are currently watching right now. I'm Tony. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ryan. I'm going to say good day and do Mox thing. Good day. <laughs>